So guys, this is our potentiometer and that is the USB DTPL device. Let me show you what we are getting on the terminal. So guys, this is our USART terminal. Let me zoom in to show you. So see that right now it is showing a voltage of just 3.7 volt. Now we rotate the potentiometer. See, it is increasing to 4.6 and the maximum is the 5 volt. See, 4.9, it's like 5. Now we rotate it in the opposite direction. See, it's again changing. 3.6 and 2.9, whatever the value adjacent to the ADC value coming. Now you can verify this value by connecting the DMM and that will verify that if this value is correct or not. So in the if you go to the code, you will see that there is nothing difficult. Just we just took the initialize the UART port, ADC port, took the ADC value, applied the formula, and just displayed on the screen. Simple as that. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will show you how we can convert ADC value to the voltage. So for the demonstration purpose, I will be using a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller interfacing with the potentiometer. And then we will display the output on our PC or a laptop screen using the serial monitor. For that, we will be using a USB 2 TTL device. So let's get started. So guys, before we continue, let me first introduce you to the formula that we are going to use. So voltage to ADC pin, that is what we want to know here, is equals to the converted ADC value, the value converted by your ADC, ADC module, once the voltage is input, uh, analog voltage is input, ADC module, and then the output is the ADC value. That is within your microcontroller. Then we multiply this by the ADC reference voltage. Uh, usually, whatever the voltage you give to the microcontroller is automatically given to the ADC module as well. ADC module is built inside the microcontroller. It's a built-in function. So, but in some microcontrollers, there is an option that you can separately also give uh, reference voltage to the ADC module. In that case, you will write that ADC value over here. But in our case, uh, we will be simply using the PIC16 FA77A. So, whatever the voltage we give to the microcontroller will automatically be given to the module as well. Then divide this by the ADC module resolution. Now, this is the resolution of your ADC module of your microcontroller. You can check for this in the data sheet of the respective microcontroller. So, let me further elaborate. Voltage to ADC pin means that this is the voltage that that we will give to the ADC pin of the PIC. In our case, we will be using a potentiometer and I will give 5 volt to the potentiometer. This means that maximum the potentiometer can get is 5 volt and minimum it can get is 0 volt depending upon the rotation of the knob. Then in between it will be variable. So this will be the voltage coming to our pin for the ADC conversion. Then guys for ADC reference voltage, this is the voltage which is usually given to the ADC module. In our case, PIC has a built-in ADC module and whatever voltage we give to the PIC is automatically transferred to the ADC module. So in this case, I will give 5 volt to the PIC and this 5 volt is also given to the ADC module as well. Then finally, ADC module resolution. If we check the data sheet of the PIC16 FA77A, you will find out that PIC16 FA77A has a 10-bit ADC. This means that 2 power 10 equals to 1024 values. So it can maximum go up to 1024 using its ADC pin. Now this formula becomes, for a, in a, for our case, we are using a PIC16 FA77A with a potentiometer. This formula will become 0 to 1023. The converted ADC value can vary from 0 to 1023 and multiply by 5 volt is fixed. This is a constant ADC reference voltage divided by resolution. Resolution is also constant that is 1024. Simple as that. Now this is the voltage only this is the variable value here. Rest will remain the same. So now guys. Let me introduce you to the hardware. We see the connections, how we connect the hardware to the pin. So first of all, this is our 3-pin potentiometer. I'm going to use the 10-kilo ohm potentiometer. You can use the other values as well, depending upon the availability. Now let me label the potentiometer. The leftmost pin I label at VCC. Center is the ADC. The right one is the ground. You can shuffle VCC and ADC pins as well, because if you shuffle, then only the rotation will change. Like if you rotate clockwise, the voltage value is increasing. But if you shuffle ground to VCC, then when you rotate clockwise, it will decrease and uh, in anti-clockwise, it will increase. So it will have no effect on the working. And the center pin is always the ADC pin, uh, constant pin for this type of potentiometer. So uh, it is basically a variable pin, center pin. So I have, I have named it the ADC pin because I am going to connect to it to the ADC pin of the PIC. Now guys, first of all, VCC goes to the VCC of the PIC because we are going to give 5 volt to the potentiometer. For the ADC pin, you can use any available ADC pin of the PIC. I am going to use the pin number A and 0, that is pin number 2 of the PIC. For the ground pin, just connect it to the ground of the PIC. In this way, our variable resistor is connected to the PIC. 
Now guys, this is the CH340 USB to TTL device. You can use any other USB to TTL device as well like FT232, CP2021 or uh, any other device available at your place. Whichever device you will use uh, will have three pins in common. That is the TX, RX and ground. These three pins are in every USB to TTL device. Rest of these power pins, they are not necessary in our case. Now guys, let me label the USB to TTL device that is CH340. I am going to use. The topmost is a 5 volt pin, then we have VCC 3.3 volt, TX, RX and ground pin. Now these three pins, TX, RX and ground pin, they are available in all the USB to TTL devices. So let me show you how to connect it with the pick. Ground will go to the ground of the pick like this. RX will go to the TX of the pin. RX pin will go to the pin number 25 of the pick, that is C6. And that is the TX pin of the pick. And the TX pin of the USB to TTL device will go to the RX pin of the pick, that is pin number 26, pin number C7. So guys, in this way our USB to TTL device is connected. Now there is no need to connect the power pin to the pick because we will connect this USB to TTL device into the computer and computer will power up this device. That's all. And we will power up the rest of our circuit using the picket 3. In your case, if you don't want to use the picket 3 to power up the circuit, just remove the pick and connect the 5 volt pin, uh, 5 volt pin from here to the VCC pin. In this way, computer will power up the whole circuit. But once the programming is done, then you can do this. But in my case, pick will power up this circuit. Uh, variable and the uh, pick microcontroller, variable resistor and the pick microcontroller, while the CIC40 will be powered up by the computer because it will be connected into the computer, computer will auto power up to it. So now guys, this is our total hardware. So let me introduce you to the hardware in actual. So guys, this is the hardware over here, simple as that. This is the potentiometer, this is our CIC40 USB detail device. That over here, there is a pick board, doesn't matter. So these two are the only things we need and the wiring is as shown in the presentation. So let's get to the micro C4 pick. So guys, this is our micro C4 pick. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. It's version 7.2.0. You can use a higher vision as well. Higher is always better. Click on File, New, New Project. This window pops up, New Project Wizard. Click on Next. Write the name of the project here. I write ADC to Voltage Tutorial by Learning microcontrollers simple as that now this is a path where the files will be created select like the microcontroller i am going to use the pic 16 fa 7 a and the crystal connected to the pin number 13 and 14 pin of the pick enter that value over here i have a 20 megahertz crystal over there so that is why i wrote 20 here click on next and finish so guys this window pops up before you do anything else first of all save your work for that you have to press Control s Press Ctrl S, this window pops up, save your work. Now go to the right, in the micro e libraries, select the libraries you are going to use. We will need the ADC library for the potentiometer. Conversion library to convert the ADC value to a string because we cannot display integers of floats on the serial monitor. We will need to convert them to a string. So now, here you have the UART library, also check mark this. First of all, we initialize our UART port because for the CH340 USB to TTL device, we will need the, need the UART port. So, uh, first of all, go to this command UART1 INIT, double click on it. This window pops up and in the example here, you have this command UART1 INIT9600. Copy this, paste it below the void main. Now, this command will initialize the UART module of the pick and 9600 is the border that we are going to use, simple as that, and uh, rest is a syntax. You can select any border you want, but whenever you will open the serial monitor, you have to write that border over there, whatever you write here. This command is just like serial dot begun in Arduino case. So give some initialization delay, not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in the one time loop. Okay, our uh, CH340 USB to TTL device is initialized. Now let's initialize the ADC port, so we can take ADC values from the sensor. Oh, sorry, from the potentiometer, expand this. Here you have this ADC INIT command, double click on it. This window pops up. In the example here, you have this command, copy this, paste it below this command. This command will initialize all the ADC pins of the pick. Now you can use the ADC pins of the pick to convert the ADC values into analog values into digital. Give some initialization delay. Again, not necessary, but I always suggest to give it in the one time loop. Now guys, our USB to TTL device port is initialized. Our potentiometer port is initialized. Let's get to the forever loop. I write here while 1. Forever loop starts here, ends here. 
Now guys, first of all, we will need to read the value from the sensor. For that, we will need a variable which will store the red value. I take a float. I take a float a value as raw, raw value like this. Then I go to the right or I simply write the command here like raw that is a variable which will store the value equals to adc underscore read and from which channel channel 0 why 0 because because we are gonna read this is the command which will read the data 0 because we have connected the potential meter adjustable pin to the pin number a and 0 if you are using a and 0 this means channel 0 if you were using a and 1 just write 1 here now give some initialization delay not necessary again i just give it because i like to have some smooth functioning okay simple as that let's check the command that we wrote it correctly because in the newer version you have to write the capital and small as well so go to the adc library so see that adc read is small so make it small or ead this is the correct command because in newer version this is a problem in the previous version you can write capital small doesn't matter but here you have to be careful about capital or small letters so this will read the value from the sensor now we need to convert this value to a uh, like we are getting the ADC value, now we will need to convert it into a proper value uh, that is a voltage. For that we will need this formula from here. This formula we have to implement this now. So this is the value we are getting from the sensor. Whatever the value is, now we will multiply it with the reference voltage and divide it by the resolution. So let's get to the programming. Now how to write it here? I take another variable. I call it float volt. That is the voltage. I write here volt equals to whatever the raw value is this is the raw value multiply by uh, the resolution that is 5 sorry reference voltage that is 5 and then divide this whole by the resolution of the pic adc resolution of the pic microcontroller that is 2 power 10 equals to 1024.0 i am writing this dot zero because uh, it is float so we get the output in float as well see now this is how we implement the formula 5.0 is fixed i am giving the 5 volt and 1024 is the resolution of the pic and this is the adc value that will be converted into the voltage now guys uh, this is the formula let me give some delay as well like 10 will do fine now guys uh, we got the adc values now we will need to send it to the uh, screen so for that we will need to display it for this we cannot display the floats directly on the serial monitor we will need to convert it into a string because string is ASCII and computer understands ASCII. So let's uh, convert it. So let's go to the right. Here in the conversion library, you have this command float to string fix length. Double click on it. Copy it from here. Go back. Paste it here. And now copy whatever the voltage which you have to convert. Uh, the variable will be written here and then it will be converted into a string and stored the variable over here so we need another variable which will store the converted value so we take an array of char an array of char is a string i write volt 1 and the maximum character it can have is 5 that is total 6 0 to 5 is 6 so i write here this variable whatever is in this will be converted into this variable volt 1 and then this new command, this is in the newer versions of the micro C for pick has an option that how many significant digits you want to have. So I would like to have like, uh, uh, it will be like 0 to 5 volt maximum 5 and then 4 will do fine like 2 decimal places that will be fine. So now we give some initialization delay, not necessary but I suggest you give it. Now guys we display this on our serial monitor, this volt 1, this is a string now, go to the right go down in the uart library you have this command uart1 txid double click on it go to the example here you have this command copy it. go back only this command which i had copied like this and write the ending brackets yourself now this command will check if the tx buffer of the uart port is ready if you don't use this command still you can write the text but there will be some distortion sometimes the letters will be written twice some strings will be written, might, might be written thrice and there will be noise as well. So this command makes sure that if the UART buffer is ready, transmit buffer is ready, only then you it will allow you to transmit the data. So this will save your data from uh, such uh, problems of noise. Now go to the right again, you have this command UART1 write text, double click on it, 
This is the command UART1 write text, copy it, go back, paste it inside this, like this. And uh, what we want to write, volt 1, like this. Now, this will like, look very odd that only the data is being written on the screen. We make it look presentable. Also, send some other strings, like we write here a simple string. Uh, we write voltage is equal to some space. Also, space here will look better. So, this will look more presentable like this and then before that it will send this and then copy it again then after writing that data now it writes a v it means it's a volt so we can reduce the spaces okay i give like four spaces and one space after so for the new reading okay this will separate it from the new reading like this will be a dash then the new reading will be again displayed now this will be very fast, it will continuously keep on displaying data. I slow down the code so we can read better. I give a delay of like 500 milliseconds, half a second, like after every half a second it will write the new value, also includes this delay. It will be like 530 seconds, then it milliseconds, then it will display the new value. So this will be better. So let's build this code. Okay, it's built successfully. Now let's uh, go to the Picket 3 programmer tour and write this code. I let me zoom in to show you. Go to the file, import hex file. This is the file we just created. Double click, click on write. Okay, the new file is being written. Let's get to the hardware and see what happens. Okay, let it write the new file. See, right now it is not sending any data. See, no data is being sent. It is powered up by the computer. So that's why the red light is on. That's why I didn't connect the power from the pick. Now I power up the circuit using the Picket 3 programming tool. I click on. Okay, the circuit is powered up. Now you can see it is sending some data. Now let's go to the USB to uh, uh, USART terminal and see what is the data we are getting. So go to your Picket 3 or uh, micro C for pick. Go to tools, USART terminal. Here select the port, mine is 8. When you install the driver of your USB TTL device, it will show you which port has been allotted to that device. And the board rate we set in the programming is 9600. Rest is default. Click on connect. Okay, we are getting the value 4.8 volt. Now let's let me zoom out and show you both screens. So we can see what is happening here. So let me move it here. Okay. Let me okay. Now this is the potentiometer over here. I try to zoom in as well. Okay. Now I rotate the potentiometer. See, we are getting 4.8 volt. Now I rotate it. See, it got to 4.2. 3.9. I rotate it. Other side, it's 4.2. Now again. Okay, you can see better now. I rotate it to the right. See, it's 5 volt the maximum value. Because we are giving 5 volt to the potentiometer. So it's 4.9 something. Now I rotate it in the opposite direction. Now it became 4.5. So it is sending 4.5. That now I rotate it in the opposite direction. It's 4. Now I rotate it further. 3.3. I rotate it slowly. 3.3, 2.7, 2.6, 4. This potentiometer is a cheap potentiometer. It is not very accurate. So that's why you will get like directly from 3 to 3.2.9 to 2.91 so you see it's 2.0 now i will rotate it further it will be the zero the minimum value so it's zero i accidentally touched the wire so it's giving zero 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 now i rotate it in the other direction see it's 2.24 now i rotate it further 5.02 the maximum the opposite it can have So guys, this is it. This is how you uh, you can make uh, the convert the ADC value to a voltage. You can use any sensor as well to see what is the value you are getting. And you can verify these values by using a DMM. You just connect the DMM, one, one pin to the left one and one to the center. That's all. So guys, I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye until then.